information involving four Navy officers in the Fat Leonard bribery scandal. A judge ruling that the men can plead guilty to a misdemeanor and simply pay a $100 fine. Our Jamie Chambers joins us live downtown with the latest on the decade-long criminal case. Jamie. Kathleen, this was an extraordinary twist in what we were expecting to see these naval officers face years in prison, but those defense attorneys really brought that argument that there was prosecutorial misconduct. The judge absolutely agreed with that and shifted everything. And like you said, these defendants, all they had to do was pay $100 each and they were out on the streets. The saga of Fat Leonard and what's considered the widest spreading bribery scandal in U.S. Navy history took another strange turn as four convicted naval officers had their felony convictions vacated because of prosecutorial misconduct. All of their convictions, their felony convictions, have been set aside, tossed out by the court, and they pled guilty to misdemeanors no jail time. Former Captains James Dolan, David Lassman, David Newman, and former Commander Mario Herrera were all convicted of several felonies along with 32 other people. That was until their lawyers successfully argued that their clients were convicted on incorrect evidence and they walked free. All these officers would be honorable, stand-up guys except for meeting Fat Leonard. Fat Leonard inveigled his way into their lives and ruined their lives, brought them shame, dishonor, and it was all Fat Leonard's charm. Leonard Glenn Francis, better known as Fat Leonard, was alleged by prosecutors in bilking the Navy out of millions of dollars while servicing their naval ships around the world. Prosecutors say officers were transmitting their timetables to ports so Fat Leonard's company could service the ships. Prosecutors allege Leonard's friendly status with naval officers allowed him to get paid millions of extra dollars while giving favors to military officers. He is a corrupt, mendacious idiot. Before Leonard was sentenced, he fled the country and then made it to Venezuela before being arrested, and he remains there. Now, with questions surrounding prosecutorial misconduct, Gretchen von Helms believes the other 32 convicted felons could see shifts in their sentencing as well. I don't believe that Judge San Martino is going to give anyone extensive jail time. Now, we were told that uh, Fat Leonard was trying to get to Russia, but on, on another twist, that means all 32 of those other folks that were convicted of felonies are expected to have their sentences also vacated, asking their attorneys to make that same argument of potential prosecutorial misconduct. And we're still unclear as to what specifically was alleged in that case, but we could see this case change even further. That's the very latest from downtown at the federal court. Jamie Chambers, Fox 5 News.